So we have our Vulkan app uh, running here in the Vulkan starter repository. But we have a small problem, which is, well, what if we want to, for example, submit a pull request to the core Vulkan repo? Now, if we want to do that, well, we need access to the core code, right, which we don't have here. Uh, on the other hand, we could use the core Vulkan repo, but then if we modify something here, well, it won't take effect in our starter directory because the starter directory is loading its packages from the Meteor package server, not from our local machine. And you might think, well, okay, I'll just work inside this repository and add my custom code inside here. But then you mix uh, custom code with core code and it becomes really hard to submit a pull request because you have your own code mixed up in there as well. Thankfully, there's a solution, which is that you use the starter directory or you know a similar uh, directory as a repository for your own code, but then you tell it to go fetch its packages from here, from your local Vulkan core directory. So this is explained here, the two repo install. Um, how it works is you use the meteor package dears uh, command or rather uh, um, argument, command line argument. Now, um, I tested earlier with like a relative URL or path, it didn't work. So I'm going to use a full absolute path. So slash users sasha dev Vulkan packages. As you can see, I'm pointing to the location of my Vulkan core packages. And then I'm launching Meteor with Meteor port 3000 settings and so on as usual. So let's see what happens. So at first, nothing really special should happen. It should just run as usual. So, okay, everything good. But now let's see uh, if I can change something that's part of the core, such as the text for forgot password. So this here is Vulkan and not Vulkan starter. I'm going to search from my, for my string, change it up. And right away, you can see it's rebuilding. So it means that it did take that change into account. And now uh, it does work. Now, maybe you don't want to have to remember to use uh, this uh, Meteor package dears uh, string every time. So there's actually a way to, uh, to do it once and for all by adding it to your bash profile file. So let's open this up. And uh, I'm going to export this. And a, a cool little trick, if you want to have uh, multiple directories, you can just do this, separate them with um, columns. So maybe, you know, I want to have other meter packages in a different directory, so I can do that. And um, let's go back here. And this time we'll just run npm start. So again, this um, this calls meteor settings settings JSON without meteor package dears, but if we did our job properly, um, it should still show our modified forgot password string. Uh, unless that is, I need to reload my bash profile file or my terminal window, which is possible. So let's see. Okay. Um, So this should load in the new bash profile or the updated bash profile file, which should make things work, hopefully. And it does work. So there you go. 
again to recap I have two repositories one that contains you know basically my custom Vulkan code you can think of this as a you know a, a WordPress theme or, or a, a Rails app you know you have all, all your code here and this is the core of Vulkan containing all the stuff that you shouldn't modify in theory but if you do want to modify it if you do want to add console logs or improve it and submit a PR well, you can very easily access it. And what's even better is you might have multiple Vulkan projects, right? You might have a, you know, a blog, a forum, uh, whatever. Well, all these packages, all these forums, sorry, all these projects can all point back to the same Vulkan core and you only need to keep uh, this one updated. Now, the only uh, thing to watch out in this scenario is like I said, if, if you have all your projects pointing back to a single repository, well, you have to make sure they're all compatible with the same version of Vulkan. And similarly, if you are working with uh, multiple people, well, you guys need to all have the same version of uh, Vulkan core installed locally, right? If uh, I install, if I update Vulkan um, and commit my starter package here well this is not going to be committed right so i have to tell my teammates hey uh, the new most recent commit of vulcan starter requires version you know x of vulcan to work properly but as long as you make sure that uh, you're in sync with your team uh, i think uh, this is a pretty good workflow and it's the one i've been using for the past couple months so there you go Hope you uh, have uh, fun with Vulkan. Hope you enjoy the two repo install. And as usual, let me know if you have any questions.